Hello friends! Welcome back to my channel and to my studio. Or if you're new here, hi, my name is Shasha and I run a website called lightinthemailbox.com um, that's a stationery shop and I have been out for a while because I had surgery on, uh, let's see, it's been I guess 16 days ago now and I had a hysterectomy. I thought I was going to be out for like a solid month. I thought I was going to be just like down, out, resting. Nope. I had the surgery. I had to have a blood transfusion because I had lost so much blood before before the surgery. Um, not actually during the surgery. The surgery went very well. I had a blood transfusion. I feel, I felt great immediately because, probably because of that. Um, and I like walked out of the hospital without pain medication the very next day. And I haven't had any issues at all. So it's been really great. It went much better than I thought it would. Um, that's just a little update for you. If you were one of the people who um, read my post about it on Instagram. So that's how that went. Um, I'm glad to have that over with. Yay. I was super worried about it. That's the first time I'd ever had surgery. So, um, I was super scared to, you know, get put to sleep and stuff. I didn't know how that would go. My mom always had issues with, um, anesthesia. So I was scared that I would too, but I didn't. So that's good. Anyway, um, it's almost three o'clock. This is kind of my normal schedule. I don't really get up in the morning and work. I kind of work in the afternoons and evenings when my husband goes to work. But, and I also sleep really late because I stay up super late. So, I've got my coffee. It's actually kind of gross. Like it's set on the on the warmer for too long because I like to eat my breakfast first and then have coffee like a little breakfast dessert but my husband he likes to get up and like drink coffee first thing like as soon as he's up and I don't like to do that so I get all the leftover coffee and it's kind of burnt tasting but anyway when I go out later to take my orders to the post office I'll probably stop and get some coffee so let's see what is on the agenda for today. Um, well, I need to pack a couple orders. It's been super slow in the shop just because I kind of had things on pause for a while for the surgery. Um, so I need to get everything kind of going again. Um, I have a whole bunch of like seconds packs of postcards, like second quality packs. Um, they're just some things like they might have a little scuff on them or like this one for example see how it printed this along the side and along the bottom it was supposed to be like a faux stamp design but um it didn't it printed crooked like at the printers I guess so I have a bunch of these that I'm gonna sell they're super cheap on my website and then I've got some whoopsie packs of address labels and they're mostly like that has printed with like maybe some streaks in the ink or cut a little bit crooked or something like that and then I have just sticker packs that are whoopsie packs they've got like usually five or more sheets same thing just like misprinted or cut a little bit wrong and I've also got some stationery and most of the time it's just that I have a few leftover pages or something or it's like cut a little bit crooked and so there's like 10 to 15 sheets in there and these bookmarks aren't they cute I got a pack of them that had some scuffs on them um because they fell out of their packaging in the box like when they were shipping so I just stuck some of them in there because um, I did get like some reprints of them and got them reshipped from the manufacturer. So I stuck some of the better ones in there. Some of them were like so damaged I had to throw them away. But anyway, 
So pack orders, make a post about the whoopsie packs. Um, I need to design some more stuff for, uh, oh yeah, my monthly mailbox club packs. And I need to order some because my printer, um, my print uh, shop, they accidentally didn't print as many as I needed. So I need to order some more of those because I got some new subscribers and I don't think I have enough sheets. So that's exciting that I have to order more because I don't have enough. Um, and then I need to order, I just need to order a bunch of stuff. There's a bunch of stuff I need to order today. And I would kind of like to go to Dollar Tree and get some stuff for Christmas decorations for here in the studio because over here, can I turn you guys around? No, I can't. Okay, so over here, you can see I've got kind of some Halloween and Christmas decor on top of, I hope you could see that anyway, I can't really tell, on top of my little paper sorter thing. Um, and I need to do a little bit of Christmas. I do have this little, see right up here, I have this little like Charlie Brown Christmas tree and I'm gonna decorate that. I wish I could get a little um, like set of lights for it. That would be cute. Just like a little bitty set. Um, yeah, so let's get the day going. <laughs> some Christmas stuff. Now let's do a Dollar Tree haul. I got some window sticker thingies, window clings, and got this little notepad which has nothing to do with Christmas at all, but I thought I would use these especially in my bullet journal. And then I found these cookie decoration kits and last year um, me and the family tried doing uh, gingerbread houses out of graham crackers and cake frosting and it turned out okay and some of them, mine, mine turned out okay <laughs> but it was a big mess, it was fun, like the mess, I mean it it was a fun mess, but I don't know. Some of them were a little bit like it became disappointing after a while just because it just, I don't know. Anyway, hopefully these will just be an easier, quicker thing. And then I got, well, I found this. Also nothing to do with Christmas, but when you go to Dollar Tree, you know how that goes. Just a little like zipper thingy for earbuds. Um... I thought it would be handy to keep a couple of cords and stuff in my backpack. Lighter. I'm always needing a candle lighter. And I got these like Christmas lights. It's actually a Christmas light necklace. Let's see if it works.
Okay, I wasn't sure if it was gonna have batteries in it or not, but it has a little pulley thing, so I'm guessing. Yeah. And then, oh, they flash. Fun. Okay, so I didn't actually get it for a necklace. I got it for my little Christmas tree. So do we turn it off the same way? Oh, they have different flash modes. Okay, that one's just solid. I don't know if you can see because I have the lights shining, the bright light shining on me, but that's cute. That's totally worth a dollar twenty-five. And then I got some more. Oh yeah. Let's see, we've got some bobbles. And I feel like I bought something else, but what would it have been? I don't know. Anyway, I didn't want to like buy a whole bunch of junk. Um, so I am going to clean up and decorate just a little bit around the shop. Um, also, it's Sunday. I'm not going to put on real clothes today. I'm going to wear my pajamas all day. So... Um, it's just real. It's real life. So you're going to see me in my pajamas probably a lot on this channel. Just saying. All right. Let's clean and decorate, shall we? I put up a few little decorations and let me show you. So I don't know that you guys have actually gotten a tour of my little shop area, but you can see I've got my fireplace going and there's some Christmas music playing there. This is my little shipping station um, right here. And then over here is the window and this is where this is like my little I don't know decorative area that I keep seasonal so I decorated this um my kid made me this when she was in I don't know eighth grade or ninth grade maybe <laughs> and I think it's so cute and so I leave that there and then I got our little Christmas tree. It's a little bit sturdier than a Charlie Brown Christmas tree, but um, I don't know if you can see the lights lit up on it. They're not super bright, but still very cute. Put some little, these little shiny bobble thingies I bought at Dollar Tree a while back to decorate something with. So I put them, put some of those on there. And then over here, this is just some storage in my art cart and I put some decorations on my whiteboard which I don't use a whole lot I really need to utilize it more and then over here sewing machine area photo uh, booth light booth and my Cricut machines and printer and papers and stuff and that's also just kind of some storage up there so nothing real exciting so that's a little tiny tour of my studio space. So here's a, a little thing that I did in my sketchbook and then I took a picture of it and put it here on Procreate. And the problem is in my sketchbook, I had doodled this little candle thingy. And then somehow, I don't know, I got sketching this house behind it. But the house didn't actually have the snow or anything on it. Here, let me show you guys the actual picture. Oops. So, okay, that's the actual picture. And then I tried cutting this out of it, but I didn't like that. So here's everything all together from my sketchbook. So I thought it would be cute to turn it into like a little Christmassy um, house. But... I can't, I don't know what to do with this. Like if I cut it out completely, oops, 
it's like, oh, I've still got berries. There we go. Then I have to try to match this. And this is all done in gouache, except for, of course, the snow that I went and put on later um, in Procreate. But it's like, ugh, I don't, I mean, it's not impossible. It's just kind of a pain. <laughs> That's what happens when you, I guess, doodle things too close in your sketchbook. But I really love how it looks. So maybe I can, maybe I'll just redo this all together. And maybe now it's too late for Christmas this year, but maybe I can get it finished and have some postcards or some stationery with this ready for next year because it is really cute. Like I love the little, um, I don't know what those are called. Anyway, and I think it looks really cute with snow. I like it much better with the snow than without. But that's kind of what I've been working on, some of it. And then these, so I made this little sketch to go with my honey um, theme pack for November. And then these were just kind of doodles, but I really want to do something with these. So I don't know if I should leave them as black and white or if I should color them in like a sepia color or and make them look kind of oldish or vintage or if I might just save them for next year for something like Halloween so I don't know oh and then this <laughs> this is another thing I've been working on it it was supposed to be like light in the mailbox the shop um and then my perspective got all weird because I wanted to make it look like it was like going inwards because again it was a sketchbook thing oh no can I not oh wait there that's the actual sketch from my sketchbook and I love the sketch in my sketchbook but then when I go to digitize it it looks too like clean um so I don't know what to do about that if I should just try to re-sketch it and not be so clean about it because I would really love to make a postcard out of this I think it's so cute and oh my gosh how cute would it be to have like a art studio slash like storefront or shop that looks like an actual mailbox like this is what the USPS mailboxes look like in the US I think that would be so adorable probably extremely hard to make but also very cute also I made like I got after I was done with this I started making like a little path that went underneath of it with these little biker people except for then I'm like okay look how gigantic these plants are like it doesn't even match so I that's not going to be there in the final thing. Also I'm really considering doing vlogmas this year I've never done it before um just like a little bit of what I do in the studio each day um so if you would like to see that Go ahead and subscribe because Vlogmas will start December 1st, which is 10 days away. Today is November 20th. So yeah, 10 days. So anyway, I'm going to wrap this vlog up here. And um, this next week is Black Friday. So here in just a little bit, my kid's going to come in and help me do some uh, restocking, make some things on the Cricut machines, restock some stickers and address labels that have been out of stock for quite a while. So, um, yeah. All right. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Take care. Bye.